Uh, hello to everyone. Uh, it's been a long time that uh, I didn't post any video regarding PTE. So uh, today I got time so uh, I'm gonna upload the video regarding PTE describe image. Uh, this video will be regarding uh, describe image and particularly focused uh, on the bar graph. As you know uh, there are many types of graphs in describe image and this part is very important of for the PTE uh, uh, that describe image is contains uh, a maximum marks in the speaking section and uh, the number of students uh, uh, as per my knowledge that think that the describe image is difficult part but uh, if you use a particular technique to describe that particular image then it would be very easy. So um, uh, I use I used many techniques and uh, I got a result that if uh, if we will use a particular method to describe the image, then uh, we can succeed. So in this uh, video, uh, when that that video will end, then you can understand that the describe image is one of the easiest part. So just focus on my technique and believe me, you will definitely succeed. So let's start a describe image and uh, we will only focus on bar graph as I told you earlier. So let's start. Firstly, the question is what is describe image? Uh, describe a image most important part of the PTE as I told you. This section contains maximum marks and it is true, blame me. In this section, you will get 7 to 8 different diagrams and these diagrams, diagrams may be graphs or like simple pictures, any scenery and uh, pie charts, tables and, uh, and many other types of diagrams. In this, uh, uh, in this uh, describe image, Part, you will have 25 seconds to recognize the diagram and 40 seconds uh, for describing that diagram. There are different types of diagrams like uh, bar graph, line graph, table, pie chart, map, picture, etc. You will get marks in this, uh, in this section for pronunciation, current fluency, and met in the image like content. Uh, pronunciation means how uh, how you pronounce a word how you pronounce english word like uh, uh, a native english uh, speaker can understand your language fluency means how how's your flow like uh, you fumble or not fumbling or uh, your flowing is good and uh, content means uh, what you are uh, what you are seeing in this picture and what you are speaking means it means content so next uh, let's move to the next page okay uh, as I told you uh, we will have 25 seconds to preparation so uh, if the first step would be what uh, we should do in the 25 seconds so in the 25 seconds Probably every diagram has a heading, so read the heading carefully. So it's very important, firstly, read the heading of the image carefully and try to understand the heading. In the case of bar graph, there must be x-axis and y-axis. So keep in mind what is on each axis. So, um, and the bar graph means uh, you will receive a diagram with uh, uh, probably L size so uh, there is a X axis and Y axis so keep in mind what is on the X axis X axis and the what is on the Y axis now now see what the graph is showing now see the whole graph what is in the graph what is out the graph where is line going like this then just read the highest value and the lowest value of the graph. This is very important because 
If you're gonna explain everything from, from the graph, then it would be very difficult to describe whole diagram in 40 seconds. So uh, just remember, you just uh, keep in your mind that what is the highest point of the graph and the lowest point of the graph. For example, uh, this is a bar graph. Like uh, uh, where years are written, this is x-axis and where the percentage is y-axis. The heading is computer ownership 2002 to 2010. So uh, this, uh, this is called bar graph. So how you can explain this type of diagram? Like heading is computer ownership from year 2002 to 2010. X-axis shows year from years from 2002 2010 and the y-axis shows the percentage from 0 to 80. Now the maximum value uh, is in 2010 and the minimum value in 2002 and the conclusion can be computer ownership has been increasing by the years because from 2002 to 2010 the computer ownership has been increasing. So it is very important you must add conclusion at the end of the describing image like uh, when you see on the timer that the timer is on the 35 or 34 seconds then directly jump to the conclusion because conclusion is very important uh, when you speak like uh, in conclusion in the end the end of the picture and the result then computer automatically give you marks so keep in mind conclude Conclusion is very important. Now, the answer would be for this diagram is, this diagram presents the information about computer ownership from year 2002 to 2010. The x-axis shows the years from 2002 to 2010. Y-axis demonstrates the percentage from 0 to 100. When I closely look to this diagram, then I notice in year, in year 2002, the computer ownership was approximately 55% and it was minimum. In 2010, it was about 80% and it was highest. So it can be concluded from this image, the ownership of the computer has been increasing throughout these years. So uh, like uh, uh, this would be easy. So just remember, uh, remember the uh, like how you can start the diagram, how you can speak the second line of the diagram, third line and like uh, like fourth line is when I closely look to this diagram. Just try to remember these lines and add, uh, add content in these lines. If you have any type of diagram like bar graph, then just add lines in this format. And uh, uh, some things you just keep in, keep in mind. This format you can use for every diagram, like this, where you will see x-axis and y-axis. Okay, every diagram in PT individually checked by computer, so you can use same format for other diagrams too. Like if you got four bar graphs, then you can use same formats. Just add the content with in this format try to remember this format by using this format correctly with good fluency and pronunciation you definitely get easily 50 to 65 scores it so uh, who wants get a, a student visa like for canada or australia then uh, you will be succeed by this format so uh, in the last this format can be used in diagram which has axis, axis and y-axis. Never try to explain to everything in diagram because you cannot elaborate everything in specific time. Always finish your recording with conclusion. For practice, record yourself, listen your recording. If you find any mistake, then repeat same image until you find that every aspect of your recording is excellent. So uh, this was uh, uh, bar graph. In the next uh, video, I'll explain about the pie chart and uh, like uh, uh, I said you a format about the bar graph. So I already have a format for pie chart. So just uh, remember this. Just remember this uh, format and you will definitely succeed.
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच